So this afternoon they're going to put our power out. We're going to have a power outage due to some maintenance work on the lines. So they're going to be headed out here. But this pond, I'm out here looking at just how much the snow has melted. And just the other day, I think I filmed a video that you could just see the top part of that fire thing. But now you can see the other one. So, um, this here, this pond, we let it sit empty for a couple days or a couple years, and it just because it was covered in something called frog bits, and we were constantly cleaning them out and doing things, and we put chemical one year in there, and that didn't kill it. Um, so we let it sit for empty for a couple years. And now, last year it was, it was pretty good. It was out there. So I think this year we'll, we'll be able to fill it up again. Sorry, all the power company's trucks are coming by. Um, so we're pretty much, you know, melted over here. So I'm excited to be able to just get out here and work. Um and be out here. <laughs> so, um, yeah. So I kind of had, as I was walking up here, let me go down a little further and show you. Okay. So right there you can see a trail that cuts through there. That is Bandit's trail. He wore a trail all through down there and Angel would come around the corner. No. He just cut the corner. Uh, that's that's what I... <laughs> eat their personalities. Angel was more outgoing. Bandit was more shy. Um, more reserved. So... But I'm going to try to cut through here real quick. Let me see how this will go. But yeah. <laughs> this has gone down. And this is melted further. I think I'm gonna have to. Okay, oops, oh, the wind chime. Cut through. Whoop, 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 I sank a little. Okay, so this is there. Oh, you can still see Bandit's trail. Oh, that just my sorry, my heart right now is. Yeah. You can still see his trail. It's strange right now, um, cause last, last winter I had Bandit, and the winter before that I had Angel. So, it's weird. So we got a little bit that's holding that tree down. And then it's pretty much just muddy, and there's like no snow on the lawn except for like there. So, yeah. Something. There's lavender here. I can think of the, it's going to say something's growing here, but it's the lavender. <laughs> There's lavender that's growing here. Um, so it's starting to come up. I hate, so in the spring, or so, the fall, when we trim the, sa the sage down, the rest is, Russian sage that I have. We trim that down. We trim this down. Um, I've learned you wear gloves with both because the first time I did it, my hands stunk. To me, they stunk. And so I was like, ha! Ah, you know. And then a sibling did it and I was like, see, I told you. But then, too, that was the year I was chewing peppermint gum and pulling up spearmint plants. And the wind was blowing. Ooh, that was a sensation I won't forget. So, yeah. But yeah, we're pretty much like that right there, that snow. That's all that's left along that right there. We're pretty much empty. So our snow's melted. Pretty much the yard area up there and in the trees, I don't know. But it's windy still and chilly. Um, I'm out in a jacket. Uh, it's, there are some days this spring that I've been able to wear some shorts and capris and I even wore flip-flops one day. So, but yeah, 
I'm in <laughs> pants and shoes, and I, these shoes have lasted me for a while. I love them because they're zebra. So, <laughs> but yeah, and I'm excited for Easter, mainly because of the significance of the day and my tulips that are coming up. That's what I look forward to seeing is tulips and daffodils. So and we've got some tulips that are down in the field down there that no matter how many times they get hit with a tractor or sprayed with chemical, they're still alive. So, <laughs> but yeah, it gives you an example of perseverance. So, yeah, I'm excited to be out here, to get out here and to get work done as soon as it warms up a bit more. So, yeah. So thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next video.